From the status bar at the top, you can access the precision panel. Now activate Snap, and you'll be able to place selections with the help of snap targets such as the beginning and end of a single stroke, the center of the bounding box of your selection, the apex of a shape that is regular, typically items brought from the object library or ones drawn using shape guides, snap recognition, or snap to grid. If you select multiple, apexes are ignored, but will also include the corners of the bounding box of your selection. Note that snap will detect both the apex of your vector path as well as the corner of the bounding box simultaneously. You can see the difference when I snap a rectangle with a bold line weight. Here you can see two rectangles snapped together by the bounding box. And here's what it looks like when snapped by the apex. You can also take advantage of this feature while using shape guides. If you open the snap options, you'll find a setting that allows you to snap to the grid as well. I find this particularly useful when laying out images with consistent spacing. In case you're dealing with multiple layers and want to restrict this behavior to the active layer only, there's an option for that as well.